Hey guys, what's up? It's Clip Clip in today. I know it's been a while. I've been working a lot, uh, bringing you a lot of cell phone videos and stuff like that. Uh, how to read that HTC Inspire and stuff like that. Uh, I know it's been a while, so I figured I would bring you a new video. Kind of got a gear update here uh, for all you Kill Switch fans out there and, and people who like kind of a clean uh, distortion sound, if that makes any sense at all for you. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> let me show you kind of how this thing is set up here. Uh, I know I did a video a little while back, kind of a minuscule video of how to get a really uh, basic kill switch engage sound so if you have a smaller amp like that that's an easy way to get to sound like that but if you've got a more professional amp a more big crate amp uh, little um, line six is what I just bought for my birthday so this is the setup for the line six um, spider four 150 watt amp. It does come with presets in there. It has a kill switch to gauge chugger knot, but it's what it's called. Uh, but you can upload it if you have the pedal board for it. I'm going to get that. Um, but here is here is kind of the setup that I kind of took from the kill switch gauge thing and sort of updated it almost. I guess you could uh, per se. I guess you could say. So uh, let me show you uh, kind of what I've got going on here. Now I made a minus or not a minus school, but a kind of a homemade pedal board here, as you see. Uh, this thing's kind of a neat little deal. We worked on it and, and got it all set up and ready to go here. So, uh, of course, I have my Max on OD808. This is the first look at what we have here. Uh, I know back in the video I brought these things and, and showed you how this is. Uh, of course, overdrive all the way to uh, extreme left, balance all the way extreme right, and the tone right in the middle. That's what Kill Switch Gauge does for their sound. I have a chromatic tuner, of course, that bypasses everything we need to tune. I have a Digitech RP90, which I don't really use. I just kind of bypass it most of the time. And I also have, of course, my noise suppressor, NS2 Boss noise suppressor. That thing is the best because my amp is on right now with the guitar turned up. And, of course, you cannot hear anything at all. Um, at all. So it's, it's a nice thing to have because sometimes at max on can make kind of a buzzing sound inside of the amp. Uh, and of course, when I turn it off, I don't know if it's going to make any sounds. Yeah, as you can hear, it kind of makes more sounds, but this this kind of mutes it. I'll go ahead and turn my guitar down there. But uh, let me show you kind of the setup I have in my Line 6 here. This is the Line 6 Spider 4 HD 150 watt amp 4x12. It's awesome. I also have it running a Navy system. It's a real cheap thing. Real cheap buy, actually. I found it at Hastings. Uh, you can also get them online. A Navy sound system. For your guitar, it was only a hundred bucks, so that's kind of a cool thing. Usually, those things are about seven, eight hundred dollars for a wireless sound system. Of course, we'll have a little bit of feedback sometimes, but other, uh, but for the most part, it's it's actually a nice little little setup I have for my guitar. So let me kind of show you how this thing goes here. Okay, first of all, on our amp models, you have a ton of little uh, little presets you can have. You can have high gain and stuff like that, and they're gonna have a green and red. I haven't really found out what the green and red is all about. I'm not really sure, but uh, hey, power to it, right? It kind of has different sounds to them a little bit. I think they're just different channel presets. Now, it's on user right now. You can actually switch over. This is kind of the neat thing about the Line 6. You can actually switch over to like Kill Switch Engages, their Chuggernaut preset, do your preset sweet leads, or just their normal sound. I like Chuggernaut a lot because you can hear a lot more of the Chugga Chuggas. That's why it's called Chuggernaut. So I'll just go back to user right quick. This is kind of my own little setup of it. Uh, but here we go. The drive, uh, almost to about 6 is what I have it. Uh, I don't have it all the way up like some people do, but I like that because you can hear more of a twang sort of feeling it almost. Uh, the bass I have turned all the way up. I know this is a little risky sometimes, but for a Line 6 amp, I really like to f uh, show off that bass. Uh, on my mid, I have it about 6. I don't have it turned way, way up uh, just because the mid is, is sometimes it's, it's a little too much. Uh, so I just have it at about 6 is kind of what kill switch leaves theirs at. And the treble, of course, I have all the way up. Now the preset. This is what's different from the preset from Chuggernaut on kill switch Engage. They only have theirs about at 6, just about right there. I like mine all the way up. That way you can hear a lot more of the leads and solos. My channel volume I have all the way at about, let's say, 8 somewhere around there, six or seven or eight, somewhere like that. And my master I have turned up a little bit. I don't have any of the reverb, tape echo, none of that stuff turned on or anything at all. Um, and it's, it kind of gives you a nice sound. I like it a lot. Um, but it'll also show you when I start changing. So if you want to pause the video right here, this shows my full setup right there. That is my full setup every time I change something. You can see I'm changing the treble right now. I can turn it up and down, but if you want to pause or anything like that, that's my full setup. That's my drive, bass, mid, uh, treble, and volume. That's all of that right there, so it's kind of a neat little deal. So I'll kind of show you what this sounds like right quick. I'm sorry if it's distorted or anything like that on the video. And uh, it's kind of hard to uh, sit my phone down along with this thing, but I'll, uh, I'll try, right? <laughs> 
So anyways, this is kind of what it sounds like. It's probably going to sound distorted on the video, but here you go. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, that's uh, kind of what it sounds like there. That was numbered days, of course, but part of it at least. Uh, but yeah, this is Line 6 Spider 4 HD 150. I know some of the uh, head amps and stuff like that will have a lot of that, uh, a lot of those master leads and stuff like that in the metal. Uh, the metal, I really like to have the, the drive at about 6, so keep that in mind. Your bass all the way up, mid about 6, treble 10, uh, and that's kind of how it really works right there. Also, Try to invest in this uh, Max on OD808. I mean, this really makes a difference. Check this out. I mean, with without it, you can kind of hear it's more grungy. This one makes it a little higher. That's, yeah, I really love the Max on OD808 because of just what it does and everything. Uh, what I'm running on my guitar, now that's, that's a question as well too, and a very valid one at that point. I have a... Uh, well, actually, let me take this off real quick. I'll show you all what I've got. Here we go. I've actually got a Ibanez RG420 EG. Sorry, that was me turning off the guitar there. But uh, it's uh, actually a very, very nice guitar. I've invested a lot in it. It just comes with the regular V7, V8 pickups that Ibanez puts in these things. It is a rose uh, bridge and everything. I don't really use it. I just unscrew these right here to... Uh, uh, do my tuning and everything when I need to but other than that I mean uh, what I'm running this is what really makes the difference right here is this EMG, EMG 8581 set that's huge it only has three channels on it and everything of course your volume and of course this right here to make it a little more sweet sounding and everything like that of course it does you do have to have a battery because uh, it is an active they are active pickups um, so that's kind of a neat little deal but yeah that's really my update on everything there I will bring you more updates as I need but I'm gonna stay with this for a long time and working to get this thing invest in it I found it used at a guitar center for only around uh, about five six hundred dollars for this thing so I uh, do invest in this thing it's a nice little thing so uh, that's how to get the kill switch engage sound kind of an update there uh, I'll see you later clip clip signing out